Hey guys, what's up? This is episode 1 of the synopsis for Inazuma 11 Ares. They start off on the island they grew up on with the team practicing. Gojin goes for a shot that gets caught by the keeper, whilst a shot of someone staring out of a window in, at them. The keeper, funnily enough, is a girl. I suppose since it's an island, they have few people to play against, and so in order to make up the necessary numbers, it has been a needs must. They can't have a separate female and a separate male team. They talk to each other about not having anything to worry about whilst playing football and the general enjoyment of the sport. Mentioning that they have not played any real matches, the only people um, they have uh, in order to face are either grade schoolers or the elderly. Asato, one of the main characters, suggests asking the principal to go off uh, the island to play with uh, with the captain telling him to wait as that's his responsibility not to jump the gun so to speak the principle in this is the same one that was given to them before Hibiki uh, where he was controlled by Ray, Ray Dark and instructed to sabotage Inazuma 11's coach on the way to the game against Royal Academy for the regional finals they get told by the principal that this won't work, the football world has gotten much better, and because Inakutni is a small island, they are unable and not talented enough to be able to match their conditions. He explains the sponsor system is in response to this, and it requires teams to need more money for management, and so therefore need the sponsors. Uh, he also mentions Japan's National Youth Football Committee requires all teams to have a sponsor. As such, no sponsor has come to support Inakuni Middle School. The captain realises, as a result of this, that the football ground is likely to be disbanded, as well as the club. He argues that in a small island, there is no risk of being overcrowded, and so there needs not uh, to be a sponsor system. As they are speaking, a loud bang happens outside uh, with the football ground being demolished. Asato tries to stop one of them. They realise between them that there is no way to stop the demolition and that they need a plan. A team member rushes over to tell Asato that his mum is getting worse with uh, her health condition and is going to leave him soon. Asato says that it has been just the two of them. Uh, so this must say that the father is, must have either died or abandoned him. He, he must be a single, um, a single child to a single mother's uh, family. The bombs that they have created will last forever as his mum fades away. As a result, Asato runs off to his um, quiet place. This is the uh, cliff where he shrieks into the sky. The following day, he is woken up um, from his house uh, by a team member and are ordered to gather up by the principal's office. Uh, they are told that they can avoid disbandment as a sponsor has turned up, provided they meet a condition that they must enter the football frontier and win a minimum of one match. The captain explains that in today's football frontier, you need great ability just to join, and even more so if you want to win. Asato promises that he will do it. They are told they must head up to uh, Tokyo and become the new Raymon 11. They are meant to face Seshu Academy, the current number one in the country. The person who watched from the window appears uh, as they look disgruntled and defeated, and they say he um, is the new uh, transfer student. He explains that he came to the island for special trailing, calling them cowards, saying before playing they are scared to have a match. He explains that from the beginning those schools that show no worth will be asked to leave before being able to even try, as well as saying that none of them possess a hisatsu technique. Asato says he will not give up on football, even if everyone else does. Gojin starts carrying um, tree trunks in uh, late, later on in the day uh, as part of his hisatsu uh, tr training. He calls the technique used by Axel Fire Lemonade, uh, with his teammate correcting him to say, you mean tornado, right? 
Each of them uh, are seen explaining to their family uh, and teammates about their particular situation and why they uh, their reasons for wanting to go. All their families uh, provide them with their blessings. Some of them, uh, some of the team members are a bit nervous as this is the first time they have actually been off the island. Others are concerned about missing their parents too much. Asato raises his arm to the sky and says he is going to meet football. This is similar to how Tenma would say that the way someone else was behaving would make football cry. He makes a water pistol gesture, asking his mum to look over him. They leave onto the ferry with their parents waving them off. They are seen at the gates of Raymond. Asato claims he can hear the voices of those who played here before them. They question why they are joining since Raymond won last year. The captain says that he doesn't know the specifics, but that the club has been uh, paused indefinitely. They end up at the old Raymond club room. They show the beginning of the match with a number of the managers watching, uh, referring to these islanders as the boonies, you know, just weak uh, country bumpkins who know nothing of actual talent and have barely any ability amongst them. The trainer questions the coach about whether his aim is to kill uh, off the reputation as they face the number one team. Kosamaru is seen using Fire to Tornado, although he has this uh, new uh, change to the Fire Tornado technique, which is um, he kind of does a forward flip uh, before using it uh, in order to score the first goal. Haisaki, the ace striker of the opposing team, smiles uh, maniacally with other members saying they had no uh, previous data on the new Raymon ever being able to use any of the Hisatsu techniques, and that their running speed was 17% higher. Aizaki starts laughing maniacally and starts uh, becoming serious. Um, he's the type of striker who uh, would uh, not use his full power unless either forced to, or he considers um, them to be enough of a challenge to uh, warrant it in the beginning. A member in the stands... Uh, uh, assesses Raymond and understands that uh, they have an enjoyment for football uh, as they can see it to be fun. Uh, Seshu uh, becomes serious and they go in for the death zone technique, uh, which has obviously been taught to them by uh, Royal Academy's Jude Sharp. This is where the first episode ends. I hope you enjoyed the synopsis of the first episode. Look forward to my review, uh, which will be uploaded. Uh, soon. If you have any questions or opinions, I'd love to hear them. Any theories you may have over these mysterious players, and of course, which of the Raymond 11 do you think this new team will face on their way to um, changing the football world?